On October 25, 2023, members of the Parliamentary Associ Staff Association of Nigeria, PASAN, embarked on an indefinite strike to really uh, complain about uh, the non-implementation of financial autonomy by the state governors. Now, these people say they are not going back until something is done. All right, this morning, uh, we are meant to speak with the chairman of all chairmen, but he's been ably represented by the National Legal Advisor for the Union. Uh, so we want to thank him very much for coming on the show this, this morning. Thank you, Amisa Achita. Achuta Lawrence for joining us on the program. Okay, thank oh, you great. very much. I, I will call you Comrade if you don't mind because Ooh, we are Comrade is good. Together. Oh, sure. Comrade is nice. <laughs> Sounds good. Comrade, you're welcome onto the All program right. today. All right, so when you hear thank Comrade, you. you know there's a struggle. It's, uh, you know, uh, a luta continua, victory, a satya. That's what yes, comes so. away. Yes. Is yes. Passan still. Okay, is Passan still moving? going ahead with pushing for the implementation of financial autonomy for the for the body yes thank you very much we are still on this struggle is still on so as i speak with you uh about the 36 state houses of assembly and their commissions are all shut down and we are not ready to back down at this stage we are going to continue until the major stakeholders listen to our plight and obey the provisions of the constitution. Because if you ask me, I think I will very boldly say what we are doing, we are helping Nigeria to deepen our democracy. There is no justification, there is no reason why certain provisions of the constitution cannot be implemented. We cannot pick and choose the part of the constitution, the part of our laws to obey. So the laws are very clear. By section 121 of the amended constitution, as a matter of fact, they fit alteration, which the immediate past president, General Muhammad Buhari, assented to in March this year, granted that full autonomy. And by virtue of that provisions of the constitution, a state finance committee is supposed to be inaugurated across the 36 states, houses of Africa, across the 36 states, and the composition of this state finance committee is clearly defined in, in that particular provision of the constitution. So we, we really do not see any reason why uh, that cannot be done. These provisions was assented to, this law was assented to in March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, this is November. So we, we, the one begins to wonder why we cannot get our relevant stakeholders, the governors, the speakers, to sit on the round table and have these provisions of the constitution giving full effect. Because we cannot continue like this. Whether we agree or not, the legislature is the fulcrum of democracy. The legislature is the bastion of democracy. Without the legislature, of course, you cannot say we, what we are practicing is democracy. Right. And we've got into a point where it shouldn't just be that we have the legislature, but the legislature is still not independent. The legislature can still not function the way they should. So that's why we are out and we are, right. we are determined to continue. Okay, Achuta, I mean, this is just laying to bear again what your union, uh, your body generally had uh, talked about, even when you issued 21, the ultimatum, and eventually you now are on strike. Before now, many people didn't hear much about Parson. Maybe if uh, some of your members at the National Assembly went on strike or said something, maybe it came to the people's knowledge. In what ways have, uh, would you say the non-implementation of the Act uh, has been affecting operations within uh, the, the assemblies across the Federation? Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, we just need to be very, very sincere with ourselves. We just need to tell ourselves the truth as a nation if we must grow. We all are aware of the current practice in the country, where most legislatures are being controlled by the executive, by the provisions, by the doctrine of the separation of power, of course, for every government, for every nation to flow very well. 
there is the need to have the three distinct powers separated among three different arms the executive the judiciary and the legislature so a situation where one arm of government sits atop and determine what happens to other arms of course it is bound not to give us a very workable government it is bound not to give us an effective governance system why because that aspect of checks and balances will not be there i sit atop we were created as street plates ordinarily we should operate on the same pedestal but when one out of the triplex stands up and say look i must determine what you get i must determine what you eat i must determine when you bat then definitely that synergy that synchrony will no longer be there talking about a financial allocation of course by this amendment of the constitution every money that drops into the states there is a need for heads of a representative of the executive representative of the of the legislature and representative of the judiciary to sit together on a round table based on a workable budget system that they had provided and said okay this money that has come you this arm you take this you this arm you take this you this arm you take this but that is not the case in the current situation that is not the case what comes in the executive and i mean governors sit down and determine what goes to the judiciary and determine what goes to the legislature and we feel that shouldn't be so I don't think any right-thinking Nigeria will stand up against the current agitation. I don't think anybody will do that because if we want our democracy to grow, then there must be that need to have the three arms of government check on each other. There must be that need for the three arms of government to operate independently. So we, we, we think there is that need. Let speakers be the heads of the legislature. Let speakers not be controlled by their governors. This is something we truly feel will not allow I, our democracy I, I, to flourish. And we must understand one thing, please. Let me just make this point. Yes, please. You okay. know, most times when we, most times when we talk about independence of uh, the legislature, some people feel when the legislature is independent, they will begin to fight and razzle yes. the executive. But that is not the case. That is not it at all. People totally misinterpret that. Okay. Totally Achata, that, that there, there, there's a reason. There's a reason I want to really come in at this point in time, Achuta, and it's based on questions we're getting from our viewers. When you say financial okay. autonomy for the legislature, people will ask you that look, all money to be spent would go for appropriation, right? Then it should be assented to yes. by the president, right? So what has been happening yes. before mm -hmm. now? Is it that the executive does not totally release the money to the legislature? Or what is going on? Because what we hear basically is that, okay, we don't have a national autonomy and this and that. Why? People really want to know. They need to know. Well, the, the way it is currently practiced, yes, we have the appropriation law. And by virtue of that appropriation law, every income and expenditure of the state is being spelled out. But at the end of the day, of course, we all know that appropriation law budget is still subject to availability of funds. So the way it is practiced presently, when that money comes in, ordinarily the three arms of government should sit together and examine what is in the post. Unlike what is obtainable, now what comes in can only be declared, can only be said by the executive. So whatever is being appropriated, it will still boil down to how much the executive tells you is available. And there is always a likelihood that, of course, more priority will be given to the executive. Of course, the executive ordinarily should control the bulk of what comes in due to the multifarious uh, uh, projects they have to execute. There is no doubt about that. So that is just it. The governor tells, the governor says how much is in a post and how much is available. And we think it shouldn't be that way. The Constitution, going by the recent amendment, feels it shouldn't be that way. Let all the three arms of government sit together and determine how much is there, and then how much each arm should be given to enable it function maximally. I mean, that, that question had to go out, and I want to uh, believe that so many of our viewers needed to care 
that uh, answer from you, needed to get that answer from you. All right, moving forward, have there been some overtures from the uh, you know executive reaching out to you to come back to work because we're not hearing anything in that regard? Well, so far, the national president of uh, our union, Comrade Mohammed Usman, have been engaging some top stakeholders. Sometime last week, he met with the Senate president and uh, the chairman of uh, the chairman of uh, Senate committee on labor matters, and they did promise to engage the president and also uh, the leadership of uh, the governors forum. Because just like I said from the beginning, this is not just uh, the battle of the legislature. No, every concerned Nigeria should be involved in this because we are talking about the implementation of our constitution. So everybody should be involved in this. We expect even civil society organizations to take this up and begin to hammer on it. We cannot pick and choose the aspect of the constitution to obey and the aspect not to obey. So it is a battle for all of us. Without the legislature, of course, you all will agree with me that uh, uh, our democracy will not grow, cannot grow. And to have a legislature that is not allowed to function maximally, it means there will be, there will be that, 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 that stagnation in the growth of our democracy, and that's what's happening. So there is a need for all of us to come together and impress it on the governors, and impress it on the speakers, and impress it on the heads of our judiciary, that there is the need for all of us, for, for the three arms to sit together and see this aspect of the Constitution true. It is not a personal uh, uh, battle that maybe some will just sit down and say it's the workers of the legislature that are affected by it. No, all Nigerians are affected by this. All Nigerians are affected by this. Call everybody and ask them. The first thing they will tell you is that, ah, this particular House of Assembly is in the pocket of this governor. Oh, this particular House of Assembly cannot speak. Oh, this particular uh, leadership of this legislature cannot do what... Of course, they can't carry out their oversight. Why? Because the fundings oftentimes are not being made available. We have a situation where the legislature needs to go travel the length and breadth of the state to check, oversight the projects executed by the executive. But they cannot do this except they are giving that funding, except they are giving that enablement. And okay. this is where that financial autonomy majorly comes in. Achuta. So what person is calling for is accountability, transparency, good governance within your sphere of operations. But then if you agree exactly. with me, what, if you agree with me, the legislature across the states of the Federation, correct me if I'm wrong, seem to be, especially the legislators themselves, be in good rapport with the executive. So one is wondering at what point did the, the union become so uh you know uh like over with whatever is happening that you're not happy with that you now deem defeat to embark on this strike well when you say the legislators are are not so much worried about it i really do not think that is what uh what, what is the case i really do not think so you know the way this matter is it's just like uh, just like i did cite an uh, example of triplet when one grows up and appropriates all powers and all authority to himself and then begin to exert it on the other sometimes it takes it requires the interventions of outsiders to come and make things work properly and to some extent i think i can say you are correct because the legislators themselves are really not pushing the way they should as i speak with you we are currently in battle with even the leadership of so many state houses of assembly. We are in battle with so many of them. We, we are letting the speakers know that, look, you people are not giving this issue the much needed support. We are talking about the emancipation of the legislature. We are talking about the growth of our democracy. It is not, it is not just about you. You are here today as a speaker. In a couple of years time, if God so decide, it will no longer be you. So why not join us? Why not put in effort? so that we achieve 
a long lasting, a vibrant democracy for Nigeria where things will work, where All the right. arms of government can operate and function maximally. Okay, actually, we have one minute to go. Uh, what can be done to get yes. all of you, members of Parson, back to work in 30 seconds? Well, number one, in 2021, you know, this issue is not just new. In 2021, we, we embarked on a national strike action. And at the end of the day, an agreement was reached. And that agreement was signed by the then uh, chairman of conference of speaker, Right Honorable Abubakar Suleiman, uh, your Akpata, Permanent Secretary, and the Solicitor General of the Federation, the then Chairman of Governors Forum, His Excellency Dr. Kayo Defayemi, and also the Minister for Labor and Employment, and then also the Deputy Chairman of the Governors Forum, Honorable Aminu Waziri Tambu, will also signed that agreement. This is, this is the agreement that was signed. But to our greatest surprise, there was a timeline to this agreement, 45 days, that if it is not implemented, we should embark on strike action, but we choose not to. We choose to dialogue. And well, I, I, I should tell, because to we have to go, can, can we just get straight to the point? What are those things that your union is asking for to get back to work in? Right. In fact, you, your 30 seconds is gone, but extra 20 oh, seconds. Sorry. Let, me, let me just, sorry, let me just be very fast now. There is the need for the provisions of Section 121 of the Constitution to be given full credence. And Section 1243 and 4 talks about setting up of finance committees across the 36 states uh, uh, of the Federation. Uh, membership of the, of, of the committee drawn from the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. And then there is also the need for consolidated legislative salary structure to be implemented. National Assembly enjoys it. There is no reason why the 36 state house of assembly right. should not enjoy okay. the same. Hachita. So we are calling on the government. Okay, we, we have to yes, go now. You. We're totally out of time. That was why I gave you that time. Oh, well, well, thank you so much for well, being part you. of the thank program today. Much. All right, we'll be speaking with Thank the you. National Legal Advisor of the Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria, Parson Hachuta Lawrence. We thank you for your time and submissions on the show Thank today. you.